Mark struggled with his tie. He'd tied and untied it so many times that his fingers were beginning to hurt. Rose was one of Lily's favorite colors. She would have said to Mark, you look so handsome in that tie. This was a bittersweet thought for Mark. Mark finally got the tie the way he thought it should be. He straightened and tightened it one last time and took a look in the mirror. This would be one of the hardest days of Mark's life. But Mark knew he had to get through it. He had to get through it for Lily. They'd argue before she left that morning. She thought he was being chauvinistic, overprotective, and old-fashioned. She told him adamantly that she would continue to work just like everything was normal because it was. She'd be just the way any other woman would. Lily tried to explain to him how it was a tradition in her family for the woman to work almost right up until they gave birth to their children. And she would not be breaking tradition. In the end, Lily stormed off from their home and took off down the road in the rain, headed to work. She texted Mark when she arrived with a simple, I'm here, and didn't speak to him for the rest of the day. Mark hoped she hadn't remained mad at him for the entire day but he knew Lily hadn't. She was a forgiving soul. That was her way. That evening, the scene of the accident was horrific. Lily had died instantly upon impact. When Mark was given the news, it sent him into shock and a deep depression. When Mark finally emerged, he had to make funeral arrangements. He was so distraught. He didn't know what to do. He thought back on all the joy and love that he shared with his wife. He thought of how they loved spending time together, how they had almost the same taste in music, books, and movies. He thought how they loved to laugh with each other, how they had almost the same sense of humor, how everything was great with them. How he loved to come home to work to her in the evening. How they sat and ate dinner together. How they looked into each other's eyes. Everything they felt for each other. He thought about it all. Mark thought about how their family and friends couldn't wait for them to become parents how they talked about how they would move out of the city and into the country to raise their child. Mark also thought on how much joy they felt when that pregnancy test came back positive and how they just thought the world was going to change and everything was going to be wonderful. He thought of that last toast that they shared together because they were going to be parents and they couldn't be drinking for a long nine months. He also thought about how he would never know what their child would look like. This saddened him more. When Mark got home from the funeral, it seemed like the tie was easier to take off than it was to put on. He untied the tie, tossed it to the side, and took off the rest of his suit. Mark put on some sweats and decided to go outside for a walk. Mark walked it first, and then he began to run. And then he ran even faster. Mark didn't even know if he could stop running. All he knew is that he missed his wife. 